Yeah, hi there. This is uh, Tuxocho.com again. Welcome on my video channel. And in the, today's little video, we'll, we want to talk about the Fieldworld F6 Plus, an external monitor which I reviewed sort of a half a year ago. And here we got the monitor. I turn it on. And um, this monitor, at least the version without a USB Type-C connector, got a firmware update by Fieldworld and that we take a closer look at now. Okay, here we are on the uh, homepage of Fieldworld. Go to the download link and download the binary file. That's uh, roughly a little bit more than uh, four megabyte. Now it's downloaded. We show it in the Explorer. You see it here. And now we take a SD card, format it with the NTHFS, but it should work with other file systems too. And after that, we copy the uh, downloaded firmware up to the root directory of the SD card and then we are almost all done. Okay, well, here we got the monitor with the inserted SD card. We start it in the hope that it will automatically start the firmware update. No, we go into the menu, start it manually searching and now he got the firmware update and it's installing it. I speed this up a little bit so you don't have to wait. And now the monitor turns off. We turn it on again in the hope that he correctly installed the uh, firmware update. Okay, no error so far, that's good. Go into the uh, menu. Go up and here we got the new palette. Activate this. And here we see the RGB, the histogram, audio meters and the waveform. And we switch the waveform to RGB view. Okay, focus assist is not new in this uh, firmware that was uh, already on the older version. Now we switch back to a smaller view of the RGB waveform and turn it completely off. Now we turn on the audio meter and now we go to the new grid view where you can adjust the uh, colors of the lines according to your needs. And here we get the same with the uh, signal from the camera and the palette view all on here with the RGB display. And now we switch it to a smaller size so we have more place for the signal from the camera. Okay, installing the uh, firmware update for this uh, monitor is I think pretty easy. And if you don't have the chance to format NTFS file format. It should work with other file formats too. And uh, it's pretty seldom that a Chinese product gets a firmware update with new functions. They might as well prefer to sell you the new product. But these new functions are very usable with their waveforms and RGB palettes and so on. Mainly okay for video but that's okay to me. I find it very useful. The uh, waveforms and the uh, grid and so on for my videos. If you have any questions to this, uh, just place them in the comments or in the comments of the uh, corresponding blog post. And if this little video was a little bit of help for you, you might as well place a like on this video. And if you like this channel, 
you might as well subscribe it but then don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video so you don't miss any video of interest. That was all for today on this new firmware update for the Fieldword F6 Plus. And I, all I have to say, till the next time, ciao, tux auch.